here we have an amazing glider. It's a 100 kilogram ultralight glider with electric propulsion. What's really cool here at the end is the propulsion is completely different to any other glider we know at the moment, like the front electric sustainer. Here it's a rear electric propulsion. Here they can attach a big propeller, which is great because it is not possible to get onto the ground with a propeller to damage it. And here in this compartment, there's the electric motor. There is a big carbon fiber shaft getting to the propeller. So here for the weight and for the space which is available, it is great to have the motor here. What's also interesting, they don't need the air brakes which every glider has here on top. This glider can use the reverse power of the propeller um, to have a steeper angle of sink. All this, it saves a lot of weight and at the end <laughs> everything is about weight in this glider because they need to stay below 120 kilograms, which is really lightweight. In comparison, my LS3 weighs 290 kilograms. This glider here with nearly the same glide performance just weighs 120 kilograms with the electric motor. Just mind-blowing to see. This glider here has an open canopy at the moment, um, but there's a closed canopy available as well. So that's a great option for hot summer days. Then there you have the flap lever that's for the power. And there's only minimalistic instrument setup, a speed indicator and an altimeter, and even a small compass is in there. These are the rudder pedals. Here is a small vent. On the other side as well, another wind. At this spot, there's the possibility to install a third battery and you can install two batteries over here. Yeah. Of course, it's an ultralight, so there's the option for a, a rescue system, a parachute for the whole glider but you can also use a normal parachute on your back like we do in normal gliders. Here we are at Geiger Engineering. That's the manufacturer of the electric motors, the propulsion system, the propeller, everything of the birdie. Usually they um, also can install it at a paraglider or trike or some ultralight planes gliders and so on. It's really a cool system here with a folding prop at the rear, here the shaft, and then that's the motor with a controller. They have different sizes of controllers, of motors, um, here really big ones, and that's the one which is installed at the Birdie at the moment with 30 kilowatts peak. It only weighs 4.7 kilograms. I'm really fascinated about this project here. They told me that um, the climb rate is about five meters, perhaps even six meters per second at full throttle. You have a range of, I think with two batteries, about two hours in endurance with level flight. Um, so it is great for some adventures. It is not an AST29, an 80 meter class glider. Um, also the VNE is 200 kilometers an hour. So that's a little bit limited. The LS3, I think, has about 270 kilometers an hour. But usually you don't fly so fast. You mess up something if you want to fly faster than, let's say, 170 kilometers an hour. Let me know in the comments if you are interested to see more about this glider. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers.